what's going on everybody welcome back to football therapy with me your host Jan I hope you are all doing well and today's video is on Chelsea striker the batsman himself Michy Batshuayi now I've already spoken a little bit about Batshuayi in my video that I did about Frank Lampard's strikers options where I covered his profile a little bit so I suggest you check that out if you haven't because I sort of compare it to Abraham and Giroud but because Michy started so well in pre-season I wanted to give him a bit more of a crack and a bit more of a deep dive into his time at Chelsea and his statistics and how maybe this could be his season. Before I do get into this video, as per usual, I'd like to request that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you're doing that, please do hit the bell notifications icon to keep updated with videos. Again, only if you enjoy my content. Right, so who is Michy Batshuayi, the Batsman? Well, he is a Belgium centre forward that is 26 years old and he was brought to Chelsea in 2016. Chelsea purchased Michy Batshuayi because a lot of people were looking at him and he enjoyed a really good season at Marseille where he scored 17 league goals and got 9 assists. If you're getting 26 league goal contributions in a top 5 league and you're a young striker or like 22-23 at the time, Big European clubs are going to look at you. Big European clubs were looking at Batshuayi and Chelsea wanted him. Chelsea signed him. So the fun happy-go-lucky striker Michy did make his way over to London but I think he probably knew how he wasn't going to be the starting striker for Chelsea because at the time Chelsea had an in-full marksman in Diego Costa. But the fact is Michy knew that he could play well in the two-striker system which I'll reference a bit later because um, he did that at Marseille but also every elite club's going to need two good strikers and he probably figured he had a good chance of staking his claim in the starting 11. Sadly for Batshuayi this was not the case because Chelsea then appointed Antonio Conte as the permanent Chelsea coach and he sadly didn't really fancy Michy Batshuayi like a few other coaches that were to follow shortly. The thing is, Michy was very much a Chelsea club signing and not an Antonio Conte signing, so he didn't fancy him. I mean, whether he thinks that's something to do with his 3-4-3 tactical instruction or maybe certain attributes he didn't like about him, Regardless, he didn't fancy him. So this is something I've spoken about before. Why do coaches not like Batshuayi? Well, the recurring rumor is, and the understanding for people around the club, or so one hears, is that he's not good at retaining tactical instruction, which for Italian coaches, like Sarri and Conte, can be infuriating. Sure, he seems like he's nodding and smiling on the training pitch, but when it comes to executing said tactical instruction out in a game, it goes out the window, and for a coach like Conte, that's a no-go. So, two Italian coaches in Maurizio Sarri and Antonio Conte that are renowned for meticulous tactical instruction. So, I mean, Sarri didn't even give Batshuayi a chance, he just sent him on loan straight away. He probably heard about what he's like and you know just didn't want him in his system. Antonio Conte however had to utilize him in his first year because Chelsea had just signed him and it wasn't probably in the contract to be signed and immediately loaned which Chelsea seemed to do these days. So although it was not his inclination to start Batshuayi he did get some minutes often in the cups but in terms of Premier League he, it's quite sad really, he used him as a stoppage time substitute, like a time waster. You know, usually when you put on like a centre back or a kid or something. He was doing that to Batshuayi and it was kind of sad to see, you know, a £30 million pound signing, young, sort of bright European striker being used like that. Kind of insulting really. But the thing is, Michy scored goals. His record at Chelsea when given the chance, the little chance, was actually very good, which I'll get into in a moment. But in terms of his attitude, he, he looks frustrated understandably often, but he was quite a positive guy. He never like kicked up or caused the problems behind the scene. He just did what he was told, and I guess just essentially took it on the chin. Apart from generally having a good record and scoring goals, Batshuayi scored a couple of iconic goals as well. He scored in the 2-1 win away at Atletico Madrid in the Wanda Metropolitano and that was the first time an English team had beaten Atletico Madrid at home. So, you know, that was a big game and a big performance for Chelsea and, you know, he needed to score that decisive goal. And, of course, the most iconic goal was when he scored to make it 1-0 to win Chelsea the Premier League. Great bit of commentary there as well. Michy Batshuayi, remember the name. 
I mean, people forgot the name for a little bit, but still, you know, iconic goal. An argument to be made that that goal or that win was coming regardless for Chelsea to win the league. But it was him in that moment when it looked like nothing was going to happen in that game. It was iconic. A lot of people thought Michy Batshuayi was hard done by by Chelsea and his coaches. <laughs> you know, little game time and maybe not as much chances as, as it should have gotten. And you know what? Maybe he was hard done by. But I think as time went on, people sort of accepted how multiple coaches weren't fancying him and something must have been going on behind the scenes and how maybe this rumour about the whole tactical information or instruction retention was maybe a thing people just accepted it and I guess the sympathy dissipated a little bit but he does score goals and I want to look at his record at these last few clubs and basically show you what he can do so on that let's look at his numbers right before we get into this just a friendly reminder of context anything above a goal every other game for a striker is a good return so what's it 36 league games in the season that would make like 18 league goals so a goal every other game and that's 180 minutes so just keep that in your head so let's start with Marseille like I said before he came to Chelsea in that last season he netted 17 goals and executed nine assists so these 26 goal involvements ended up as an average of one goal involvement every 108 minutes 108 minutes is obviously very very good and you can see why loads of people are looking at him. In the season under Conte with very very limited minutes he still managed to score 5 league goals and register an assist and this was in just a dismal 239 minutes. But you do the math and that works out as a goal involvement every 39 minutes so it was a bit of a super sub vibe but when you're contributing to a goal every 39 minutes you must be screaming like, what else can I do? Give me a chance, start me, I'm gonna score goals. But he didn't start him, I'm in. Michi was then sent off to Germany to play for Dortmund on loan and before he got injured, he was doing incredibly well out there. He scored seven goals and got one assist. And this averaged out to a goal involvement every 104 minutes. You can see why the Dortmund fans absolutely loved Michi Batshuayi because he was really doing the business for them at such a good rate, but he got an injury, it was cut short, he had to come back sadly. So Michi did go to Valencia, but I'm gonna sort of let him off on this one because he only made four starts, he had a big injury problem. I mean, he did score a goal, but it never really happened for him and it can't be a positive reflection of him giving a good chance when not being injured. So for his own sake and for his benefit, I'm gonna wipe the Valencia from this stats. So this leaves him with his Crystal Palace loan recently when he still managed to score five goals in 757 minutes, which isn't amazing, but it's still a pretty good return. And it actually works out with a goal every 151 minutes. Now remember, a goal every other game is 180. So to score every 151 minutes, Decent. And finally, just a quick mention, his record for Belgium is very good again in terms of goals per minute. He actually scores a goal for Belgium every 62 minutes or something like that. But, you know, he's in a team of, I guess, Galacticos and they're often not necessarily playing higher positions. So I want to keep it to club football, but just a shout out to his good Belgium record. All right, that's enough of Michy's numbers. So we know the batsman now is a goal scorer, but they're not all tap-ins or just scrappy goals in the box. He's very two-footed, he can score comfortably with both feet, his head, and he can score a goal from 20 yards out into the corner. He's a really good finisher. Surely this can't be wasted any longer by Chelsea, right? Right? Well, gone are the meticulous Italian coaches, and in comes the young English coach, Frank Lampard. Now, there's a few things to talk about here. Firstly, Lampard's communication with Batshuayi should be better. I mean... In terms of him speaking English better, that might help, but he's a younger coach and he's just sort of more fresh out of the game and Lampard's going to respect finishing and Michy Batshuayi is good at finishing. Lampard was a world-class finisher himself, so there'll be a mutual respect there. So for me, there's that initial point. I think their bond or communication might just immediately be better than, say, it was with Sari or... Well, it wasn't really anything with Sarri or Conte or maybe even his other foreign coaches. I think personally he would get a stronger connection with Frank Lampard and have a better understanding and therefore his instructions might get to him better. But there's two sort of tactical things I want to highlight here. Lampard is a, more of a pragmatist the way he plays than Sarri. Um, but a lot of 
Lampard's football, chances come from midfield and then they just need someone to finish it off in the final third. Sure, everyone's work rate has to be really, really high for Frank Lampard and I'm sure Batshuayi will chase the ball around. But I think there'll be a bigger element of forgiveness in Frank Lampard's tactical approach to just let Michi Batshuayi be the sniffer in the box. You know, let the chances come in and just do your thing in there. I think that certainly with Frank, there'll be that element a lot more than previous coaches, which obviously would suit Michi Batshuayi a lot more. And the second and arguably most important point here is Frank Lampard has already deployed Michi Batshuayi in a two. Now, Michi played in a two at Marseille. That's probably why he managed to execute nine assists with all the goals he scored. You'd imagine Lampard would be lucid to this, and he's obviously already played Michi next to Tammy Abraham, where Batshuayi was actually very, very good. So this might be Michi's chance to play in a two, and when it comes to when Frank wants to play a one, Olivier Giroud's been in excellent form the last few months, so you'd imagine he'd probably go with Giroud. But in terms of playing with a one, Batshuayi's demonstrated recently his hold-up play is very, very good, which you need as a number one. So he's got a chance here to really stamp authority in this squad and always be playing in the two, because it's probably not going to be Giroud playing in a two. And even when uh, Frank's deploying a one-striker system, if he needs something a little bit different to Giroud, he might be looking at Batshuayi over Abraham. So before the preseason, I was pretty sold on the concept of Tammy Abraham, and he still could be the man because he's youthful and Jody Morris and Lampard, etc. But he, I tell you what, Batshuayi is looking sharp. He was very unlucky not to score two or three goals in that last game. And he's snapping off chances all over the goal and hitting the crossbar and holding up the ball well and looking like he's very capable at playing in a two. Chelsea need a sniffer in the box. He might be your man. And this could be Michy Batshuayi's season at Chelsea. Finally. So what do you think? Do you agree with me? Would you choose Batshuayi? Do you think he should only play in the two? Do you think he could play as a one? Get down in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts. And if you've enjoyed the video, please do like the video. Um, what else? I'd like to plug to you guys. If you want to support my channel and help me continue and keep it live, you can become a Patreon or a Patron to my Patreon where you donate as little as $1 a month and you get access to exclusive videos that I do uh, for you guys, essentially as a reward to thank you for supporting my channel. Um, you know, while these channels aren't monetized and I spend a lot of time and money, it, just a little bit of compensation would really help me out and help me continue making good content for you guys. That's it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the football, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby